What's going on my fellow guardians? My name is Nuktuk and in this video we're going to be looking at some highlights from my recent Mythic Challenge streams. For those that don't know, Mythic is a difficulty in Destiny 2 that requires the player to play from the beginning without using a HUD, without using a Vault or a Postmaster, and to delete their character anytime they die. The ultimate goal being to reach Guardian rank 11, which is pretty tough to do since every season resets our progress. For those that are curious, no this will not replace my larger, more produced videos, but it will help me put out shorter videos for you guys to watch. I've already made videos on this series up to Lightfall, and these videos are going to pick up where those left off, starting with the final shade. And now with all that nonsense out of the way, let's hop straight into it. I have no idea what I'm going to be thrust into as soon as I load in. I would imagine I'm going to be sent straight into the campaign. So we're going to have to do transmigration out the get go, I would imagine. All right, what are we even rocking with here? We have a machine gun. I think it's probably important that we use that. Uh, we've got a scout. We've got a fusion. Uh, what's our rank progress looking like? Okay, we've done that. So we need to do first uh, mission, point of contact, increase season stuff, season artifact. Okay, so we are just reacquiring rank six at this point. Um, What do we pull? I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do good old some yes, research. Yes. I think that's everything. We should be good to go. We should be able to handle this. Oh shit, not good. Just trying to keep it nice, nice and distanced. There we go. Come on, y'all. They're giving me no breaks. And these Axion bolts are actually a pain. Okay. First section done. <laughs> Let us continue forward. Uh, do we have any scary things approaching us in this area? I believe yes, we do. I would really like to not be hit by one of those boomerangs. Finish him. This this scout rifle is actually like doing wonders right now. It's allowing me to be safe. It's allowing me to not have to worry as much. I may have spoken way too soon because now they're probably going to be coming this way. Yeah, I remember something spawn. I remember something spawning. OK, not going to lie. That made me slightly nervous. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be our first campaign banner area. It's going to be not fun. I need to remember to use my abilities and I need to remember when I have my abilities. We're just going to take a slight detour over here. So I got a drop, got some boots. All right, oh, there it is. And bada bing, bada boom. All right. This section, I'm pretty sure, is where I get the first couple of prismatic enemies that I have to run past. So I need to, mm, I don't want to invest any more than I already have because I'm not sure if I'll make it through this mission. I don't know why I didn't just like lead with this to break all the void shield. Now we have to go through the prismatic guys, right? Yep. Always a little scary. Um, now, if I remember correctly, this part, oh yeah, this part is a part. Got him down to finishable. Nice. So now I just have 
this icon. We're just gonna play this super safe like we always do. The solar resistance was a great idea. These Vandal Shields are really annoying, I must say. All right, at least there's only one more to deal with. And that last one is finishable. So I could run up there if I wanted to, but I, I think it's in our interest to just play as safe as we possibly can when we can. Okay, this guy is literally just gonna sit right there, huh? Everyone's gonna spawn in. Nope, not dealing with that. Hmm. See, now he's playing safe, which is what he should be doing. Okay, we're just gonna reload this. Oh no, that engram. I need to get that engram. Oh, nice. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Now we can get rid of that. And we can do that. All right. First two chests. So far, so good indeed. This, we just have to sprint to the finish. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. So far, so good. All right. We are one third of the way done with the initial transmigration mission. Ah, uh, finally here, inside the Pale Heart, the Traveler. Yeah, the art team for this mission, and really just like the whole campaign in, in particular, they knocked it out of the fucking park. Definitely a conquered species, all right. I was hoping that I could get a foe spawn on them, but... Yeah, there we go. Just so I don't have to deal with them as I'm going across floating platforms, you know? But like platforms that are over the chasm. The other thing I really hope that doesn't happen is getting tinnitus in the middle of combat, because that would, that would really screw things over for me. All right, we got the Icon of Darkness. We're just gonna chill in the back here. So now we're getting transcendence. Uh, it's not letting me transcend for some reason. Do I have to be in the pool? Oh, I guess I had to be in the pool. Okay, we're gonna do that. Because I feel safe now. Where did he go? <laughs> That's never a good sign. Is there anyone else in the area? Yes, that guy. That guy has a name. And his name is a pain in my ass. Okay, Transcendence Room 1, a uh, done. I know, this I, know that I know this fight I'm about to engage in. So we have left and right that we have to take care of, and then a giant ogre to end it. We don't get prismatic here, but we do have to use transcendence for uh, breaking shields. So let's give this a good old fashioned try. It's a good thing we can go over here. Planet safe, planet smart. Unfortunately, sometimes you just gotta bounty up. That's all that taken care of. We can leave that ammo there. Run, get out of here. So let's just go around back and get to the uh, thing safely. Finish him. Just gonna hop back over here. 
Plant that baby down. Take out the gun bats. I feel like I'm playing Duck Hunter. These guys are just jumping out. Yeah, I think I got a good majority of them. Just gotta pull this out. I, uh, I wasn't nervous or scared at all or anything. Using this machine gun was a great idea. I'm trying to save my heavy ammo for the ogre that I'm gonna have to deal with. Okay, I know I just wasted a bunch of heavy, but maybe I'll use some scatter. Oh, he went all the way up there, I think. Okay, so I have to get up there too, and I think I want to make a run for back there. Yeah, at this distance, he really is not going to be hitting me, and even when he pushes me, it's really not that bad. Yeah, he's hiding. Good stuff. Range stat really trying hard right now. <laughs> Absolutely. We max in range. You should have seen, uh, you should see me in, uh, Lightfall. I was using Polaris Lance to its absolute maximum potential. Big heal build incoming. Ooh. Yeah, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I get a pulse grenade, I'm gonna be doing everything in my power to run Getaway Artists. All right, we have one more encounter before the end of this mission. Here we go. I think I was supposed to not do that. I think I was supposed to make a turret by consuming. I'm getting very flustered and I don't need to be. Lock in, Guardian, absolutely. Come on, come on. There we go. I need to get transcendent. Nice. Now we have some big boys. All right, come on. We got this. We can take him out from a range. Oh my gosh, okay. I feel like I'm pinned over here and that I just need to move. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh shit. Okay, okay. We're a little screwed. I don't know how we're alive. Oh my god. Can I just... Can I just take him out like this? Oh, thank god, yes! Okay, is there anything else? Oh my god. Oh, give me this, give me this, give me this. All right. One mission down. It only took us nearly two hours to do it. 